Lev Vygotsky's sociocultural theory posits that social interaction plays a fundamental role in the development of cognition, suggesting that learning is a deeply social process. This theory emphasizes the role of language and social interaction in cognitive development, arguing that dialogue is crucial for learning and growth. This video will explore five key concepts from Lev Vygotsky's sociocultural theory. Let's start with the more knowledgeable other. Vygotsky believed that the cognitive development of children is strongly influenced by social interaction with more knowledgeable others. This concept of the more knowledgeable other refers to someone who has a better understanding or a higher ability level than the learner with respect to a particular task or concept. The more knowledgeable other is significant in the learning process and can be a teacher, peer, parent, or even a computer program providing guidance and support to facilitate learning. The next concept is the zone of proximal development. This concept refers to the difference between what the learner can do without help and what they can achieve with guidance and encouragement from a skilled partner, the more knowledgeable other. It is depicted by concentric circles as shown here. There are three zones, what the child can do without help in the middle of the concentric circles, what the children can do with help, and then on the outside, what the child couldn't do even if they had support from a more knowledgeable other. Vygotsky argued that educators should target their educational materials at that middle zone, known as the zone of proximal development, where tasks are almost within reach for the student. By practicing these just too hard tasks with a more knowledgeable other, they become easier over time until they can be done independently, which pushes the zone of proximal development further out to more difficult tasks, which will be tackled next. The third concept is scaffolding. While scaffolding was not coined by Vygotsky, it's a term by educational psychologist Jerome Brunner. It fundamentally builds upon Vygotsky's concept of the zone of proximal development. Scaffolding refers to the support given by the more knowledgeable other when a student is learning within the zone of proximal development. This metaphor of scaffolding, referring to the supports used when building a house, is that the teacher provides maximal support at the beginning when students are learning the task, but the teacher then gradually withdraws their support as competence increases until the student is doing the work without support at all. Our fourth concept is the role of language and private speech in learning. Vygotsky viewed language as a critical tool for cognitive development, particularly as a means for internalizing knowledge. Language helps in thought processes and problem solving. Vygotsky came up with the term private speech to explain the self-directed speech where a child talks to themselves that typically emerges in a child around the ages of two to seven years. He believed that private speech is essentially a way for children to guide their own actions and thoughts. This, Vygotsky argued, was an important aspect of child development and demonstrated the importance of language in our cognitive development. As children grow, they start to internalize this private speech. They begin to understand that language can be used not only for communication with others, but also as an internalized tool for thinking and problem solving. As adults, we know that we can think with words in our heads, and that helps us to think through complex ideas. The fifth important concept to know is the differences between Vygotsky and Piaget. While both Lev Vygotsky and Jean Piaget were developmental psychologists, their approaches to understanding cognitive development were different. Piaget believed that children learn through independent interactions with the environment. He used the term lone scientists to explain how children learn through environmental interactions. Generally, he also thought that all children learn at roughly the same pace through a series of developmental stages. Vygotsky, on the other hand, emphasized the social aspects of learning, arguing that cognitive development is largely a result of social and cultural interactions rather than simply interactions with the environment. Vygotsky didn't believe in stages of development like Piaget either. Rather, he thought that development was a slow, gradual process that may occur differently in children depending upon who they are interacting with. To go deeper into the differences between Piaget's constructivist theory and Lev Vygotsky's social learning theory, watch the video on screen now.